Hello. We're back. Welcome back to oh, yeah. season season four, episode two, according to the way that this is going, I guess. Um, Welcome. Yeah, so we're back again with our good friend uh, David, I think. Sure. Right. Yeah? No. Michael, <laughs> that's it. Okay. Anyway, Michael, this weekend, we sent him out on assignment. He saw Deadpool. So good. So what was your, okay, so first things first, though. What was your opinion of Deadpool before seeing this movie? Gotta like, be so good. No, I mean the character. Like, what was your... Really like the character. I don't have a negative feeling towards him. He is what... He is the snarky person that comics need. Because I feel like... The exact opposite. Sure. I think Deadpool is the worst thing to happen. Like, ever. Do you feel like that it goes, way because it goes like the Hindenburg and then like Deadpool? Is like, that because like they make him way too powerful? No, it's because he, he he's not funny. He just uh, yells chimichangas and like that's the joke. I will say chimichangas are only mentioned twice. That's good. Like that's comforting to me because like a bunch of my friends are like, you should see this movie, but I hate Deadpool. Chimichangas are only mentioned twice because everything about him screams like middle school LOL so random humor. Like, just like, oh, like, bacon, chimichangas, haha, -ha, like, a hundred pancakes, like, just like, dumb shit that isn't funny. Mm -hmm. And I just want, like, a, a guarantee that that's, like, at a minimum in this movie. They, it is an R-rated movie, so a lot of his jokes are R-rated. Yeah, but, like, I, like... So, the middle school aspect is out of it. No, but I mean, like, if the personality's still there of, like... Haha, -ha, like, so random and stuff like that. Because, like, I feel like I don't even hate Deadpool that much. I hate the people who think they're hilarious when they act like Deadpool. Like, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. people who, like, cosplay as Deadpool and okay. put those stupid fucking videos up online okay. of them just being obnoxious at conventions and, like, thinking they're hilarious. You know what I mean? I okay. guess, yeah. I, don't know. Oh, I just. I mean, that is his character. He is the obnoxious asshole in the yeah. whole series that nobody and everybody wants. Because, like, from the trailers, he seemed kind of funny, which, like, caught me off guard because, like, the Deadpool game, for example, had, like, no, like, I, I, uh, I looked at that. Yeah, was, I had no interest in the game. And it was just, like, tacos and chimichangas and, like, all this, like, nothing was funny. Okay. So, like, like, this movie does look, like, funny, though, I will say. Well, I would say if that's your personal opinion of his comedy, you may not like it. But people who don't know Deadpool or just enjoy or our fans. sassy humor will enjoy it. Mm -hmm. He's very sassy, uh, he's very self-loathing, which okay. is funny, um, to a point. And it's just very, it's a very interesting story. Okay. They actually make the story kind of important. Okay. Yeah, it seems it's like... it's interesting which storyline of Deadpool they From follow. what I've heard, it's like, cool, like everybody kind of like, like a friend of mine saw it and he said, uh, he was very happy that it wasn't like, the world's in danger. It was just like, oh no, he just like wants his fiance back or something like that. Like it's a much simpler story. Way to ruin the plot, but yeah, he's well. You can glean that you from can, the trailers. Yeah, you can kind of glean. He's like, not doing yeah the whole suit. He's not a superhero. Yeah, he's just a guy who can't die. Who like yeah, who like has powers and shit. Basically, so he's just like fuck well, his you. Powers just healing. It's just like Wolverine's power. Yeah, but it's super healing. Yeah, but can he like yeah like Wolverine basically? Yeah, he but isn't he also like. Well, he's like a trained, like, he's assassin, strong. like, Yeah, he's like, he's like, he's like, really strong, and also something, like, because of, his, like, the way that his, like, brain works, like, people who are, like, telekinetic, like, can't do anything to him for some All reason. Alright, yeah, but that's completely irrelevant to the movie. Yeah, no, I'm just saying. As a character, he, his regeneration power is so <laughs> strong that his brain neur neurons are constantly reforming. Yeah. So, therefore, no telekinetic powers can, like, reach them, because they're yeah. not at the same. yeah. yeah. Um, uh, yeah, so, did you, did the movie meet your expectations, exceed it, fail them? Definitely met, I wouldn't say failed at all, exceeded possibly. Okay. It's really well shot, um, he's funny, there are the deaths that you want to see in a comic book movie, like finally people die. Mm -hmm. um, what is, uh, what seems to be what a lot of people are taking away from this movie is, okay, more R-rated comic book movies. Like, I feel like, because I think I read yesterday, now that this has happened, they're like, okay, Wolver the Wolverine 3 is R now. Like, that's what they're going for. Mm -hmm. Which, like, makes sense, because I feel like inherently when you look at the Wolverine, it's like, 
Yeah, like his power is like Sp like when Spider Man beats someone up, he can just beat them up, and it's like, haha, like I beat you up. Like it, that's not gory. Yeah. Wolverine just has large, unbreakable claws yeah, yeah. that slice. Like that's just what they do. So I feel like an R-rated Wolverine movie is like something that I'm okay with, but I kind of don't want to see like this like pathway of like, oh well, if we just make it R, that just makes it better, right? Uh -huh. Like you know what I mean? Like kind of like putting the rating before like the movie itself. Well, I feel like. What it shows people is that they're not going to lose viewers. It did make $134 million yeah. in opening weekend. Mm -hmm. So what this shows is that by making a comic book movie R, they won't lose the viewers just because they can't get in. They won't lose their teen fan base. Yeah. Yeah, that's... Which was a big concern. Because um, they were given, like, no money for this movie. Like sure. The budget, I mean, the budget, I think, was pretty low. They make a few jokes to that as well, and it's pretty funny. Yeah, because, like, Fox pretty much had not no faith in no, yeah, no, no, they actually, there's a storyline, um, not in the movie, in the Fox, whatever. In the real world. In the real world, where Fox killed seven and a half million dollars of the film's budget because they thought it would be funnier if they couldn't go all the way into, like, super special effects or okay. ammo shooting. Because he's not a guy who kills people with guns, he kills them with weapons. Yeah. So, like, they thought that would be kind of funny, and it works. There's a few times it's funny. Okay. Let me tell you that. Yeah. Um... I personally, uh, uh, I like ha I have such mixed feelings about like seeing this movie. Okay. Because like already I'm like I know I don't find him very funny. Okay. But I keep hearing that like, no, it's not that kind of like it's not like the annoying kind of like Deadpool. Even if you don't laugh, it's a good movie. Okay. That's 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 a that's a way I to put it. I feel like it didn't work if you did laugh. Yeah. If the whole point like of that might be true. That it might be like it? no, I haven't seen it yet, but. I feel like that point might be like fine. Like, yeah, the movie might be fine if you don't laugh. But if you didn't laugh, then the movie didn't do its job properly. Because that's correct. The point of it. But if he's going in there thinking it's not going to be funny, mm -hmm. and he just ends up not laughing, there's still a worse way to spend ten dollars on movies. Yeah. Yeah. That's, no, oh, yeah. That's, I'm sure. That's, I'm yeah, sure. That, that, that's we're like, not, we're not go, that. Yeah, I could go see like fucking Paul Blart too. I'm like that's or, just like, there's Alvin no the reason. Chimunks, whatever. Yeah. Like, um, exactly. Like, like, no. Like, yeah. It. Uh, I'm slowly coming around to like. To like seeing the movie, because like to all my friend, like all my friends at home are like into it. They're like, oh, I want to see this movie. Like one of my friends did see it, said it was great. But like, I was like the annoying friend when I was like, no, I hate Deadpool. Because like I just I, I feel like I was so burnt out on his jokes okay. after like a very short period of time. But I keep hearing that like, no, it's not like the dumb Chimichanga's Deadpool. Well, Chimichanga's. I feel like the chimichangas thing isn't just a joke, it like speaks to like the kind of humor he's like trying to get to. Okay, so the theory with that as to why his humor is so childish in the comic books is because of what we were saying, his neurons constantly... Well, I don't really form. care about like the explanation. They, make, <laughs> they basically make him an adult, they ignore the fact that he like would regress. Yeah, that's good, that's better. So he's an adult, he makes like humor at adult things. Yeah. But they're still kind of funny. Yeah, no, it, it looks like I, it's, I, I was saying it to Nick, I said, it's not a movie I'm going to go out of my way to see, but like, if someone, like, if tomorrow someone goes, hey man, do you want to go see Deadpool? I'm not going to say no. I'm going to go, okay, sure. Like, let's see how this works. Sure. Um, but yeah, so, out of ten, give it a, give it a number out of ten. Seven easy. Seven easy, maybe eight. Seven or eight, so like a seven and a half. No, it's, it's, <laughs> it's like an easy seven or a hard or like a hard eight. A light, a light eight, a hard light eight, eight or a seven. I don't know where your scales are. It's not that. It, there's no the way. It's I don't know how it's weighted. He's, he's got the he's got the Fantano scale. I don't, I don't know what the formula is for that. Uh, I put. It's okay. okay. I, I get the, I get the, I get the no, idea. No, no, no. Iron Man like, two is like a five. I, I feel like everyone has their own kind of like number scale. Avengers one is like a ten. Ultron's like true. Whoa, Six. Avengers 1 is at 10 is a, that's is a not, heavy... That's not true. No, but Ultron was way worse than Avengers 4. Yeah, no, that's... Ant-Man is gonna, like I'm a 8. Right I'm gonna get heated. No, that's fine. That's I, think, that that I think Avengers 1 is a 10 for the experience. And like, uh, I think it's a 10 the first time you watch it. Yeah, I've watched it a second time. I've seen it about 7 times, that's and each lot. time it drops about That is your five. own problem! That's 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 because it's lot. just like always fucking on TV or whatever. That's a lot though. I've seen the movie I think three times, and to me it's like kind of like it's like it's like it was like the ten the first time you saw it because like holy shit. I, I just, saw it once. Yeah, it was great. But like the I after after the, the second time, it's, it's probably like it's probably like a seven or an eight. Like it's still a fun movie. Uh, the worst Marvel movies though are like. Uh, 
Iron Man 3. Uh, Iron Man 3 was okay. I think I... It, yeah. I liked Iron Man 3 when it came out, but then that I was, was kind of like, eh. Series. But then Dan was telling me, no, there's good stuff in it, so Thor, I don't know. Thor 1 and 2. Thor 2 is garbage. Thor 2 is definitely the worst. So boring. So what about it's Thor Ragnarok coming out? What? Thor Ragnarok. That I'm excited for because it's like Ragnarok, end of the world battle. Whereas the Dark World is like, oh, this fucking portal shit. What is it? It's boring. I don't care about yeah. this. <laughs> it's, the other day, I was, uh, it was on. That's my answer for the worst. That's funny. Uh, I, yeah. No, it's I definitely know. the worst series, I think. Thor. I like the Thor, first Thor. Thor is probably, Thor's probably the weakest. Um, yeah, I feel like people are going to get fucking... It's, it's, it's going to pop, man. This superhero movie thing, it's a bubble, and it's, it's getting too much, I feel like. Yo, but they already have things planned out to 2021. I know, but don't you think people are going to be fucking... And now like, Fox is starting done. their whole thing. That's but, going out to 2026. But you really don't think... Well, they're kind of basing it on, like, people now. I know, Not people, like, like, in 2020, you know what I mean? No, like, but, like, like, you really don't think, like... Like people are just is it getting sick. too? Oh, much I'm not it? doubting that people are going to yes. get sick of it. it, it like, I personally won't, but like I'm, I'm too much of a nerd to get that there. much. But like, I'm slowly it getting. It is there. getting a lot. Yeah, I'm slowly getting. I'm not there. saying I hate it, but it's getting a lot. Like Suicide Squad, I'm like, whatever. Well, I just think there are some points. I'm more in interested in Suicide Squad now, like over time. Yeah. Like with the last trailer that came out, it made me more interested in the movie than when I first was announced. And uh, everyone it, was so psyched about Jared Leto beating being the Joker. I don't oh, give a I, shit. I wasn't. I I'm, I'm talking about the he's rest of the movie. Be a great Joker. You know what? You know his what? acting is great. I'm not doubting his performance is getting bad. So I, I'm think, not even I think the worst thing about I think, I think the, the worst thing about Suicide, like Suicide Squad is all the press leading up to it. Jared Leto mails well, the coworkers it, what, a, a rat. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. It was like all what? it was like all these like set photos and all this shit is like. Just stop. David, just make the movie yeah, and let me fucking watch it. David Ayer needed to hire an yeah. on, uh, what was it, an on-set psychologist because the movie's so dark. Yeah. You know, like it's a fucking PG-13 rating. Yeah. It's uh, like, it looks like Hot Topic the movie, and that's <laughs> that's my opinion. It looks mm -hmm. like the Joker fell into a vat of Hot Topic. I um, mean, it could be really bad. I'm just like more. It could. Now, but it does look. So yeah, no. The last trailer. Was the last trailer was a really good. Trailer. With Bohemian Rhapsody turned me around. I'm really movie. interested in Superman vs. Batman. Everyone's oh, that's gonna suck. Oh uh, uh, yeah, we're not. We're not. See? We're, we're I'm not. Like, we're, gonna be trash. What are you doing? A Man of Steel. Good. Oh not God. Trash. Not. It's great. It's so amazing how Man of Steel and Batman vs. are like the most divisive fucking movies ever. Like, wait, some, wait, what do you think of Man of Steel? I didn't watch it. I hate Superman, so I don't. Oh, I, fuck I don't really care. I, I have movie never movie been more disappointed at a midnight release than Man of Steel. I saw that shit. I was like, fucking, yeah, Zack Snyder's gonna win. Well, it's Zack Snyder, so there you go. I like, hated that movie. <laughs> I uh, yeah. hated okay. that movie. Um, yeah, that shit's like really divisive. I guess, yeah, I guess it's just whatever. Right, like I said, I'm, like I said, about it. good. Not fantastic, not trash or anything. Just good. Middle of the line, good, entertaining superhero movie. Okay. I it's, didn't see the midnight release. I just saw yeah, it. Yeah, I just, yeah, I just, I think what finally sold me, I'm like, wow, I hate this movie, was when uh, <laughs> the tornado's coming, and he just, like, doesn't do shit, and just lets his dad die, because he just goes, no. Mm -hmm. That's not why. <laughs> what was, what was the writing process there? His dad's supposed to die from a heart attack, yeah. which is, like, supposed to be this humbling moment of, like, you can't save him you all. You can't far, save him from that. Yeah, but you can true. save him from the tornado that's 20 feet away. You can do that. You're very yeah, fast. You can save him from the man with the bullet. Yeah. You're, you are literally faster than a bullet. It's in your fucking title. Yeah, we talk about that all the time, Clark. You can do this. Yeah, no, I don't. I right. versus Superman, I think... I'm very interested in the Batman aspect of that. I think the yeah. Superman's still going to be bad. Fine. Yeah. I think Batman. I'm very interested in how it opens up the entire universe. I think it's going to be... That's sure. why I'm yeah. interested in it. I yeah. think it is going to be so crowded, that movie. Well, only Wonder Woman and Aquaman are added. And Cyborg. Oh, I didn't see that. Why? Did they I don't think they're all going to be in Batman v Superman. I think yeah, they're Wonder Woman is. No, they're all confirmed. No, I know Aquaman is confirmed. But they're Maybe at the very end. Aquaman I don't think they're all going to be like in the fight, though. No, I don't, I don't know about in the fight, but they're all confirmed. Yeah, it's Khal Dror. Yeah, Khal Dror. Which is going to to our next point. Yeah. Oh, yeah, Game of Thrones. Oh, yeah. Segway. Yeah, no, segue? I think that's a decent Fuck segue. All right, so. segue. Game of Thrones, season six teaser. Uh, it's very interesting. Hall of Faces. Oh my God, everybody! And it's all of the characters that have been killed on the show, except one of them hasn't yet. Possibly, 
It's unclear because maybe Jon Snow's still alive. Apparently there's rumors that he's still alive or some shit. I don't know. I don't even know, but I don't even care about that. Tyrion Lannister's in there. I mean... He's like a werewolf or something, right? Uh, Tyrion Lannister? Who no. Uh, no, Jon, Jon Snow. Snow. Isn't he like a werewolf? No. All right. Not werewolf. He has a dire wolf, but yeah, he's not... like... There are no, no werewolves. No, there is a theory like a that like, he's or ancient. something. Yeah, well, no, he's... No. He warmed into his, into his wolf. That's a theory. Yeah. I don't think it's a true theory. I mean, Jon Snow's my favorite character, so it's a little like I'm a little, yep. I'm a little sad right now. My, I'm a little my favorite Game of Thrones character was Kyle Drogo, and yeah. then he died. He's Kyle, Dro Kyle, Dro Kyle Drogo. Kyle. Kyle Drogo. Kyle. He hangs out at the gallery. Yeah. yeah. Kyle Drogo and Jeffrey. <laughs> Jeffrey. <laughs> Jeffrey. I don't watch it. Okay. Yeah. Uh, there were four, maybe five characters I liked from the beginning up until Jon Snow died. Not a single one of them died. I was so proud of that fact. And now he's dead, and I don't know. Yeah, it's very, um, oh, man, like... I didn't care about Ed Stark. I didn't care about any of the brothers of the Starks, except for Jon Snow. So when they died, it wasn't a big deal to me. What brothers? Well, care. I was the only one that died. Rob Bran's still there, alive. No, wasn't there one more? No, no, Bran and... I didn't care about Rob. I couldn't remember. <laughs> Rob's the only Rob. one. Good old Rob. Good I didn't old care about Rob. Rob. I didn't care about Eddard. I didn't care about the yeah. Mountain. I didn't care about Catelyn. the Mom. I didn't care about... <laughs> Nobody. I cared about Bran, Sansa. No, not Sansa. Bran, Arya. Sansa. I care about Sansa. I care about Sansa. Bran, Arya, Jon Snow, Tyrion. And I, I care. I care about Sansa and Tyrion's uh, friend. I care about Sansa and Natalie Dormer. Bron. That's what I care about. Who's Natalie Dormer? Uh, Marjorie. Tyrell, the queen. Oh, uh, she's got like the half buzz haircut. Gotcha. Yeah. Well, not in Game of Thrones, but yeah. No, she but does like in, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> in like Hunter Games or whatever. Yeah. Um, um, yeah, so like I remember season four being like really, really strong, like yeah. throughout and the ending I was like, Oh man, I'm so excited for season five and then I watched season five I actually watched season five recently, like I didn't watch it okay. when it came out okay. and I watched it. I think season five, like as a season, is not as strong as season four, but the ending is like whole oh, shit. I now last, I need like, to know what happened. The last like two, three episodes. Dude, the fucking White Walker army, that shit how do you beat that? I Ice know. zombies? They kill you, and then they just get like 10,000 more. It's impossible to kill them. It literally is impossible. I don't know how they're going to do it. Fuck it. The only theory I have is Daenerys, it fucking dra the dragons have to everybody. roast them. Like, literally, you have to roast the ice zombies. There's no other way. Well, yeah, dragon, uh, whatever the fucking metal is. Valerian steel? Thank you. Valerian steel is the only thing that can kill them. Yeah, exactly. So it's got to so be It's got to be fucking Daenerys. dragon fire is the only thing that can kill them. Because, yeah. like, come on. Yes, exactly. What the fuck else are you gonna do? Dragon fire and then Valerian steel. Is this like? Uh, I remember reading that this isn't like the books anymore, right? It like kind of like it just caught up to the books after the fifth season. It's oh, I thought it like did its own thing. Uh, it's kind of off from the books. But yeah, it, I don't. But, I haven't read any of the books. But so doesn't it now like, have to be doing its own thing? Yeah, yes. Def yeah. Absolutely. It's like it's like really off the fucking rails. Like it's, yeah. it's doing whatever the fuck. It's right. way yeah. bigger than George R. R. Martin. Yeah, yeah. Well, it's like, well we can't wait for you to fucking pretty... write this goddamn book for twenty years. We have to make a show. You know, Use a show. computer. Yeah. Forget the typewriter, you ass. He just he just he has like a quill and like ink. He has a typewriter and a seventy-year-old publicist. Publisher or whatever, so they're both like on their way out. Is basically yeah, and it's just good old. God, it's all a big joke. Good old Johnny Snow. It's all a big work. This whole fucking thing. I mean, yeah, I never watched the show, and like, when I like, I've had everything spoiled for me at this point. So like now it's like, oh, why even bother yeah. watching the show? Well, that's because it's a show. No, but like, it's just like one of those things where like. I was like, maybe I'll watch that show, and then I'll like hang out with friends, and it's like, can you believe the Red Wedding killed all these people that I'm going to name? And I was like, cool. Um, <laughs> guess I'll never watch guess, this yeah. now. Oh man, can you believe that this exact person died in this exact way? Yeah, I can. I can, I can like I really guess. understand. I want to watch it because like, if because the point like Game of Thrones is so good because of that emotional like it gets you because you don't see anything coming. I feel like at a point, if though, you, you already have to see know it. everything, at a then point like, though, at a point, know, I'm not at a that point though, the series you have to like fucking see every like it's you have to know what the gimmick of the series is. It's just hey, we're gonna kill a bunch of characters, and that's you never know who. But it's you a don't good, always know who. It's a good guess that like someone major will die. You yeah. don't know who. Jon Snow's death was random. Yeah, but no, like, that that I see that you could kind of see maybe that would happen. You know. Well. 
if you're going to say that, you could see Jeffrey was going to die at some point. I honestly <laughs> thought Joffrey would never die. Because he was the worst. I thought it was like a big joke, like, fuck you. The worst character the worst in character existence will, will never die. No, he had to die. Like, That's why I was like... Everybody... I was so like, yo! Like, when it happened, like, I was like... like retiring from acting, right? Like, he, because of this show? I don't know. Isn't that what it is? Because everybody hates him and wants to kill him? Yeah. I, th I thought he was, like, pulling a young Anakin Skywalker and being like, no, everyone hates oh, well, me. Christopher Lloyd or whatever his name is. Christensen? Uh, yeah. No, the young... From episode, episode one, that's Christopher Lloyd, yeah. yeah. He was in oh, Jimmy the Little Kid. He, the little kid who, like, after that just quit because everyone yeah, bullied yeah. him. Because everyone was like, it's your fault, this movie sucks. And he's like, I'm seven. Please calm down adult men who are mad at a movie for children. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. I mean... Oh, speaking of Star Wars, isn't this filming for eight Star Wars? Yeah, it's Dave, yesterday. yesterday. Cool. That is cool. Star War. It's a go. I mean, I'm very excited to see... Yeah, I'm very excited to see another test run. Again, yeah, no, eight is going to have another uh, yeah, one. Yeah, I think, I think they probably they are not going to do another one. I hope they don't. I'm being sarcastic. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. They, they're they probably need to stop. Star Killer 2, maybe? The Universe Breaker is going to be what the next one's called or something. Yeah, this universe. Moon, moon, moon puncher. It's, it's like, just a black hole yeah. that just sucks in yeah. everything, and like everybody. You know what was the like, worst part? The worst part about so Star stupid. Wars, Star Wars Episode Seven, Nothing. was Neil deGrasse Tyson's fucking tweets about it. Okay. He's so up his own ass. It was so funny. He was like, "Um, BB-8 would have skidded uncontrollably." It's like. Good thing it's a fucking movie. Good thing they actually made a BB-8 that worked. Like literally, yeah. it's an actual robot. And he was, it's not CG. And, and so he was like, wrong, maybe. And he was like, <laughs> well, like, if you if you absorb the star, then the the world would, then your planet would freeze. It's like, cool. Good thing it is a science fiction movie. Good thing it is not real. Science fiction space. Opera. Yeah, it's yeah. a giant laser that destroys yeah. planets. Relax. What was the other one? Oh yeah, at one point, like someone said something about parsecs. He's like, oh, a parsec is a unit of time. It's like, shut up. Exactly. Yeah. We get it. Cleared in 12 parsecs. He's yeah. cleared in 12 seconds. Yeah, I know. It was like whatever. Okay, like, it doesn't matter. You know, Neil deGrasse, I, I applaud you for defending that the Earth is not flat. Oh, yeah, that was Despite B.O.B. Against B.O.B. B.O.B.'s diss track. Oh. You don't oh. know about this? I haven't heard okay, this. Okay, okay, so you know the rapper B.O.B.? Yeah, B.O.B. He, yeah. he is one of the believers of the cult that the Earth is flat. He believes legitimately that the Earth is flat. He says, look at the horizon. Every time you look at it, it's always flat. There's no curve. It's always flat. He's serious about this. And Neil deGrasse Tyson's like, uh, no, he, nah, the Earth he, is he not released, flat. He literally released and a like, diss track of Neil deGrasse Tyson. And because, then Neil deGrasse Tyson's like nephew, I think, Okay. Like released one back being like, you're a fucking idiot. Like, yeah, Neil deGrasse, cause Neil deGrasse Tyson tweets out be be like, oh uh, yeah, no, actually there's like tons of proof, yeah. like pictures from space that the Earth is not flat. And he's not like, even just the... he made a diss track to Neil deGrasse Tyson about that the Earth is flat. <laughs> what, what the fuck is wrong with you? That's what rap music is in the year 2016. You're sending oh diss tracks to scientists. Serious? And in that song, cause I listened to it, like he samples like Neil deGrasse Tyson's lecture about the Earth being round. Like it's literally just a 30 second clip of this lecture. I'm like, what is happening? <laughs> to the society. What's going on right that, now? That is... I don't sad. get it. I mean, Twitter's like the new, like, rap beef game. Like, yeah, Kanye is in it. Kanye, everyone. It's if you're so... on that Twitter sphere, you gotta have beef. I mean, basically, at this point. Oh, Kanye's really... broke. Did you guys hear that? Yeah. 53 million in debt. I don't know about broke. I don't know. He's still got, like... I think he's richer than that. He's, so, doing, he's doing fine. I think he's got a net gain. I mean, did you listen to the new album or no? Nah. Yeah, I... Anyone I know who has listened to it is like a diehard Kanye fan and they got a title thing. Everyone else is like, I'll wait. Or like, they'll, they'll pile. Yeah, I'm a pretty big Kanye fan, but I just haven't. Like, you really don't care it's about like, that. I, Kanye's got one song in my head, and that's Power. Yeah, I don't know any other I don't song. Know song. Know. But yeah, Kanye's, yeah, Kanye's yeah, like, yeah. All, like, Kanye's okay. Like, I don't love him as a musician. I'm not saying I hate him. But like, yeah, it's like, to like, sign up for some bullshit. And like, I'm like, dude, just... I think it's coming to Spotify like next week or something. Like that. Yeah, I'll just like, wait till it's on yeah. Spotify and let's do it for free. So um, I don't care. Speaking of rappers, uh, Lupe Fiasco okay. fought against. You know who Lupe Fiasco yes, is? Yes, I haven't he, heard him in a while. Yeah, he. Okay, so Street Fighter Five just came out. Yeah, I got it. It's very fun. Awesome. Um, he on Monday fought against one of the greatest Street Fighter f players in the world named oh, Daigo yeah. Umehara, and he won. It was the. F it was like the crazy. It's like he debatably won because like he won, but like you kind of watch them play and like Daigo's kind of like just uh, uh, playing like shit. But it was still pretty hilarious because Lupe Fiasco is just like, when he wins, it's like everything just like stops. Like, no, like, it's like he wins and then everyone's just like holding still and then it's like, 
he like slowly takes off the headphones and he's like, did I win? Did I just... <laughs> and then he like s just st he's like so happy. It was pretty hilarious to watch. Like, it. It's so out of nowhere. Like, yeah. if you ask me, y'all want to play Daigo in Street Fighter, yeah. we're like, what see, is uh, this? Did you like, see what's his face? It's so uh, good. Like, I love. There this. was a tweet by what's his name? Uh, Wooly. This guy. This okay. guy Wooly. He tweeted out. Yeah, I, I watch him. Oh, okay, yeah, no, uh, I follow him on Twitter, he tweeted out, uh, it was a picture of, he said, like, Evo 2016, and it was just, like, Kanye West, Kendrick, Drake, it was, like, yeah, yeah, get yeah. all these rappers to, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. yo, I'm, yeah, I'm waiting for, I'm waiting for Kendrick versus, like, Infiltration or some shit, Dude, oh my I god. Dude, that would be amazing. Drake versus, oh my god. Rapper FGC, like, yeah, we that would be so fucking like, hysterical. <laughs> oh, um, so good, like, did you see the new trailer for King of Fighters 14? No, when? I think like today. today, yeah. No, I haven't looked at anything it's, today. It's, uh, you know Tzok from Goro? Yeah, which The dude with the hawk head? Yeah, 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 yeah. He's back, kind of. Everybody thinks it's him. It's a weird character. But now he's a dinosaur head. What? It looks pretty sick. Is this a Yoshimitsu situation? Yeah, yeah it looks pretty like, sick. He's what? like, it's like a Mexican wrestler. Oh, and it's gotta be him. Yeah, man. yeah, and he's got a rap, uh, raptor head on and like claws and stuff, and he's doing like... Izuna drops. They're like trying to make this game cool. They're trying to do it's it. It's cool. No, they've like SNK is trying to do it. They, if you look at like from when it was from when the first trailer was released. Oh, it's like way better now. Yeah, oh yeah, my it's god, it's night and day. Yeah, yeah. yeah I King's, know. Like I don't know if you've really been following, but like King looks great. Um, K Dash looks fine. Like a bunch of characters look like good Easy. now. Yeah. yeah. This new uh, Robert from Art of Fighting. I don't know, he he I looks like cool. They like give him like a little so. little beard and stuff. Yeah. Um, yeah, everybody's looking cool in that game, and now Tzok is... That's fucking... It's maybe Tzok. I think they call him in the trailer, like, the king of dinosaurs or something. Tzok's brother or yeah. some shit. Yeah, or, like, maybe Tzok's rival or something, because he's... Yeah, yeah, okay. It's a red Mexican wrestler. It's, like, it's Tzok. It's, it's... Who cares? Basically. But it's awesome. Yeah, exactly. Um, yeah. Did you see how they... As a case, like, oh, get ready next year, we're bringing back Samurai Showdown. No. And they said that. They said they're going to bring back Samurai Showdown. Really? And, like, it's going to have the same, like... KOF 14 like type models. Engine. I'm like, God damn it, no. Why? Well, okay. Doing so, this, so I, the no, thing, but I really like Sound Shirt a lot. And like, no, I can't thing, look at that. The thing about KOF 14 is that the engine is sound in terms of like yeah, combat. No, like it's frame for frame of what yeah, 13 is. No, I, I get it. Graphically, you. I just can't look at it. they gotta figure it out. It's I don't, don't want to look at Samurai Showdown like that though. Come on. I don't want to look at models. But like, okay, so. When was the last time you looked at a KOF 14 thing? Probably not for a while. Not, yeah, not for a bit. It looks okay now. They've really, like, done some it's decent the, things to it. It's not the same. I know, I'm just being, you well, not yeah. the same. Well, yeah, I mean, I would have preferred like, sprites too, like, but. I hope, oh. like, whenever they're, ne like, you know, in the future 16. they go back to, like, doing yeah. sprites, you know? I don't know if that's going to happen, but yeah, no, I am. Um, yeah, in terms, of, in terms of fighting games, there's so many new, I mean, KOF, KOF, uh, Guilty Gear Exard of Revelator, they just announced a new playable character for that. Tekken 7, Fate of Retribution, a whole bunch of shit. I'm very excited for all that. But, um, I think we've exhausted our, uh... We, we're, we're at, we're at, we're at, That's we're at, it for this week, guys. We're at time, all right, so... Right away. Alright then. Thank you. Right, stay tuned for, for next week. Yeah, we're gonna... It's very erratic. We're gonna do the cinnamon now. challenge. On camera. We're not. Oh my god, let's actually do let's that. Not, no. no, we're gonna do the milk gallon challenge. Stay tuned. Alright, goodbye. I will do